Hey, this is the review for the FIO um, Q1 Mark II. I've had this for about a month now, uh, a few weeks, and I've been using it, and it's turned out to actually be really uh, a very outstanding thing. I was going to do a video, and I actually just saw somebody do a video, and they were using it with an iDevice. As everybody knows, uh, I'm an Android user, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this actually will work. Um, and it's actually a good solution. Go through the stuff again. It's got a, it's actually got a line out. It's a, got a single ended and balanced out. It's got a indicator light. If it's if it's charging something, uh, it'll turn to a violet uh, or a red. Um, if a little green light comes on, then it's playing DSD. When you plug this into something, if the light turns on before you turn this on, then it's charging off of whatever you connect it to, which is a big problem. So um, I'm not having that problem. Something you got to learn about these is these come with, these don't come with, but you need special cables. I'll show you this one. This is a USB cable. This is a real OTG cable. And on the back it shows you that one side of the cable is supposed to be for the device and the other side is supposed to be for the the item that's being hosted where this would be the host this would be the the piggyback the guest I'm, I'm, I'm not sure slave um, this would be a as it's marked here and this would be B if you switch it it won't work um, or it'll drain so this is actually designed to work uh, exactly the way that I want to do it. This costs like 50 bucks, so this is kind of expensive, and I don't know that they make this anymore. Um, however, I did use another regular cable um, that is actually red. I can put a link uh, to this. This is this is 10 centimeter OTG USB uh, and an Amazon Japan. Um, and it works. It's always worked with all the FIO devices and basically everything that I've used. Um, so I got a phone. Got a phone and, you know, I want to use it as a, as the host for my new amp deck. So take it out. Get a second cover. So if you do anything to it, if you stick, you do any kind of bonding or do anything to it, you don't need to worry about it because this is actually your cover. This is an extra one. This is like five dollars. You can buy something like this. Put this inside. Let's see how I can do this. Okay. Go ahead and turn this on. That's going to turn on. Um, my favorite IEMs right now are the Unique Melody ME1s. Um, and uh, I found out something that was really surprising, and that is that between the X7 Mark II, um, the second generation X7, and uh, this, I would rather use these with this and that than I would with this DAP. The reason why is because this has a certain amount of power and these planars need more to elevate the bass. And if I start to use EQ on this, I'm increasing... EQ is a DSP. Um, as soon as you turn on the, e, uh, the EQ, you're turning on a uh, DSP system. Um, and you're using power fake power you're 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 increasing distortion immediately when you use an eq um and if you really push it up you're really increasing distortion so for something like this you're not going to hear the distortion but you're not going to really get good results from it so while i was using this with this i was getting this is a I, everybody knows this is an awesome dab that's that's not the question what is what is the benefit of something like this um the benefit of something like this is that it's got a bass boost on the back and a bass boost on this is a hardware boost. So this is actually, there are, there are little chips inside here that are designed to increase the voltage, the amount of power when I turn the switch. 
that comes out of here. So when I hit this switch, I'm not really using a DSP. I'm just routing more power to here. And I'm doing it in a frequency that was decided by file. Uh, and it works really, really good on this. In fact, of all the DAPs that I have, and some of them are very expensive, this thing is the best thing for the unique melodies. They, it sounds awesome. It, a bass boost on this is just absolutely fantastic. Okay, now just to confirm for you what we're doing here. Okay, let me look at this real close. Now this has got an A and a B. I think I've got this memorized right now. So the A would go into here. And there we go. Nothing's happening yet, right? Okay. Now, we got the B. And what I want to happen is nothing as far as lights go. I do not want that light to turn on. I'm using an Android, remember. The Android is on right now. It is not draining any power off of this, and this is not draining any power off of that. There is, there's no power being exchanged between these two devices right now because this cable is designed to work in such a way. Um, now, I turn it on. It's blue. Okay, that's good. We, we don't want another color. We just want blue. Now, because I've got UAPP inside here, it should detect it. Or it didn't. Okay, there we go. It's doing it right now. Um, just in case you people don't use UAPP, you might want to. Uh, you go into settings. You go down to where it says DSD mode. And you, go, you select native DSD. And now I go back and I play what is a DSD file. You can see oh, right here, DSD64. Now I play that. Or, okay, I'm playing that now. I don't have headphones plugged into here. However, the, the thing that I want to see is a green light. And there it is. This, is. this is hosting a DSD file, which is the highest quality pretty much that you can get. Do you believe in that? It's not the point. On a Note 4 on Android with an SD card in it, I have a DSD file. And I'm putting the DSD file without it being resampled, without anything happening to it through this cable and it's coming out here and this little indicator is assuring that this is in fact a DSD file I am playing it through this device and a DSD now what do I do with this now I got this I got this I take a piece we got right there let's lay this down and uh, Rotate, bam. I have now a DSD player. It'll play whatever I want. So, there's my DSD. This is a DSD of Pink Floyd. It's right there. DAC DSD 2.8 megahertz file DSD 2.8 megahertz. That is playing a DSD file native. And it's playing it right out of the file native. And if I'm playing with my unique melodies and I plug these in, these will be single ended. So the power is not going to be that great. But this bass boost on the back is just absolutely fantastic. And Again, this is a Note 4, thickness-wise. Let's compare this with a with the Mark II. It's a little bigger, not that much. With with the with these planar, I would use this over this. It's not even close. I would highly wreck this. the The, the trick is that you need a cable that is. Uh, oh, that looks off, doesn't it? Well, guess what? Just take it off and. Uh, Yeah, that'll work. That's a little bit better. Get my OCD going. Um, as long as the cable has two different sides, and it, it won't allow the discharge uh, from this device to start being charged to this device, which it's not doing. However, DSD files are intensive. They're very big, uh, and it will drain your battery faster. But I am listening to a DSD 
file through a Note 4. There is absolutely zero question whether or not that's happening because like the PHA3 by Sony, I'm given an indicator to tell me that. The Sony PHA3 would tell you if it was a high res file, which they consider to be 24192. Um, anything below that, the light wouldn't go on. This light is supposed to be only for DSD files. If it's playing DSD, the green light comes on. If it's not DSD, it won't come on. Now, let me get out of here for a second. Mm. Go up. Uh, this is a FLAC. This is a vinyl. Let me go into here. Play. This is a very good file. This is very high quality. However, it is not a DSD file. It's a 24. It's a. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a 96. 24 bit 96. That light's not coming on because it's not supposed to come on. Only for DSD but it will do DSD. Um, do I recommend this? For the price, it's crazy. The problem with this thing is that the Q5 is coming out, and I think a lot of audio files are waiting for that, but for something that's got small and a very low profile and plays very high quality sound, uh, this is absolutely fant fantastic. Uh, I, of course I wrecked this. I've already been taking pictures of this for days. I got a mail uh, from Fios saying, you know, we haven't seen your review. Um, I've been reviewing it for weeks now and doing pictures of it and doing all kinds of stuff So I guess you want a video here's a video of the review do I wreck it? Of course I do I've been using it and you've been seeing pictures of it uh, plays DSD It'll play it from your Android it won't drain the battery There's no light coming on right now now. Let me take a second and see something I actually have never checked this if I turn this off. I usually take my cables off see if any light comes on once stuff things are shut down, sometimes stuff will start to automatically drain one off of the other. No. It's actually safe. So that is the that is the FIO Q1 Mark II playing DSD through a Note 4. Like a boss. Do I wreck it? I, I use it. Of course I wreck it. Thumbs up. Thank you, file.